Anyway, let's see, coming to the stage now is a guy who's going to tell you everything he believes in and make you believe in it, hopefully. He's going to try. He is LA's first stand up healer. Welcome, Mr. Adam. Uh, sorry about that last act, Mom. Uh, you know, he cut class. I didn't know he was going to do that stuff. I apologize. I almost didn't make it down here. Boy, I can't see anybody. Bright lights. That's that's what it's like. Huh? Um, I, I almost didn't. I almost didn't make it down here. I got in my car and my motor oil had had a significant breakdown in viscosity. Don't you hate that? You're all set to go somewhere. You look at the viscosity gauge and you know, it's broken down. It's a bitch. But I didn't let that stop me, you know, because I believe in the, the metaphysical nature of the universe. And I said, I'm going to make this car start. So I called upon AAA. <laughs> Worked okay. I, I really do feel that we're all connected with each other and connected with God. Has anybody done, uh, like, uh, New Age seminars, self-development growth seminars, that sort of thing? Anybody done those? Great. Two people. <laughs> There's my best material out the window. Okay. Talk about television. How about that Star Trek, huh? I collect Star Trek. The other day I was looking through the guide and I couldn't believe this. It said, break a leg, love mom. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrong um, I was looking through the TV guide and there was this episode. I think you'll recognize it. It says, Kirk's investigation of an energy force takes him to an uncharted planet where he encounters a weird creature. <laughs> That was every episode. I don't think they knew what they were going to run that day. They said, let's get some, somebody to write something non-committal. You know, we'll get the presidential press secretary and, you know, write something nice and vague. But, um, oh, here's a quiz for Star Trek fans. Let's see if you know this one. Okay. A landing party beams down to an uncharted planet. Kirk, Spock, McCoy, Sulu. And a guy we've never seen before, staff geologist Diamato. Okay, which one's gonna die? Right? You see a landing party beam down, two security guards in red shirts, you know those guys are history, man. One of them's gonna be gone before the commercial break, for sure. I really enjoyed Star Trek, though, because. Uh, it showed a real positive view of the future, it showed people getting along, because I really do believe that we're all connected with each other and connected to the forces in the universe. Um, has anybody done New Age seminars, growth, like uh, inside, inside S, that kind of thing? Oh. Great. Yeah, me too. The way it started, uh, transactional analysis is everybody has an outlook on life like, I'm okay, you're not okay, or I'm not okay, you're okay. And I looked at my outlook on life and what came up for me was uh, my lunch. What came up for me? It's a groaner! Okay, it's my groaner. I'll make a note, that one's my groaner. Okay. So I looked at my outlook on life, which was basically, I'm not okay, you're even worse. <laughs> I figured I'd better do something. I looked at astrology, but I, I don't believe astrology at all, but I hear that's typical for a Taurus. So. <laughs> the common thread through all this stuff is that uh, you create your reality with your thoughts. That seems to be what everybody says. Some of them sum it up in a sentence. They say, what you think about expands. And luckily, when I was growing up, I thought about my dick a lot. <laughs> So I've been doing these affirmations, maybe you know affirmations, they're a sentence that you do over and over again to reprogram your mind, to put the new thoughts in. And since I had stuff with women, the one that they gave me was, uh, I, Adam, am now willing to assert myself with women. And I haven't been doing that because my mom always told me never to start a sentence with I. So I haven't done that. Prosperity's been the other thing I've been working on. I've been going to these prosperity teachers and they all tell you, do what you most enjoy doing and you'll prosper. And I'm wondering, like, how many gigolos can the market handle, huh? <laughs> and they, they always say the same thing. Anybody who's done the seminar knows the teacher says, I'm taking this training too. You know, I'm getting just as much out of it as you are. And I said, well, and how come I'm paying you $375? <laughs> the guy said it was because he'd handled his willingness to receive money, and I hadn't yet. <laughs> 
but I heal wherever I go. I, I don't need money to be a physical and emotional healer. I like to think of myself sort of as the Christ of the 80s, you know? The other day I was coming back from Arizona and I was in this truck stop. And there was this guy sitting there just holding on to all this anger. And you know, I know suppressed anger isn't good. It gives you cancer and all kinds of things. So I said, I've got to do something to help heal this guy. So I did what we do in our groups, which is we tell the truth. We communicate. I shared my judgments, what I felt in his energy. And he turned around and released so much of that anger. I mean, by the time I regained consciousness, his energy was totally different. And, you know, I think everything has a purpose, because out of that I learned that there was a cure for bruises. Holistic cure for bruises. Yeah, there's this seaweed, you buy it at the health food store. It's kind of like what they roll sushi in, only it's green. And you cut a thin strip of it, and you tie it around your finger to remind you not to share your judgments with large, angry truck drivers. So right now I seem to be the only person who's tapping the, uh, the New Age world for comedy. But I think if I get successful, I'm, I'm worried that all the other comics are going to start stealing my material, you know. Like, Rodney Dangerfield will be going, oh, No respect, no respect at all, I tell you. I did a meditation to get in touch with my higher self and I got an answering machine. <laughs> no respect. You know, George Carlin will be saying, well now, the, the way the rebirthing meditation breath works is it's a connected circle. You inhale and then you immediately exhale, which makes it awful hard to hold a hit of dope. And Sam Kennison, okay, this is Sam Kennison channeling Seth. You're God! Feel your fucking self! I love, I love how the New Age is spreading. I mean, they've got New Age music sections now in every, every record store. Right now it's pretty mellow stuff like Wyndham Hill, but I, the other day I just saw the first New Age punk band. You know, the puking avatars. Have you seen that with their big hit, I'm an innocent child of God, so fuck off? <laughs> well, that's about it for me. If you felt good about yourself, then I've accomplished what I set out to do. And if I've offended you, then I brought up something for you to look at and heal. <laughs> and if you feel you've gained any spiritual awareness from my routine, then I'd like you to start tithing me. Thank you.